Assassin's Creed Odyssey has been announced, and weirdly, it's nothing to do with an Italian guy possessing people with hats. Instead, it's a slightly different take on the Assassin's Creed series, staying within the same universe but going back to before the Creed existed in ancient Greece, specifically 431 BC. With a definite swerve into more RPG-style gameplay, plus greater emphasis on player choice with regards to the story, when we played it we couldn't help but notice a few similarities between it and our favourite space opera Mass Effect. Yes, if Mass Effect Andromeda didn't tickle your fancy and you don't mind swapping space for ancient Greece, you might get a kick out of Assassin's Creed Odyssey's new RPG style. Look, just go with us on this one. Off, you're given a choice we've never had before in this series, and that is who you play as, and not in a swapping between the Fry Twins way like in Syndicate. In Odyssey you have a more significant decision to make, which of two characters to choose from, Alexios or Cassandra. Similar to Mass Effect's male Shep and Fem Shep. When playing, we went for Femshep equivalent Cassandra, and much like her space equivalent, she has all the same abilities as her male counterpart, with gameplay being exactly the same whoever you choose. But being able to pick your character is certain to give Odyssey something common to all good RPGs, a stronger sense of attachment to your hero. Moreover, developers Ubisoft did tell us that some experiences will be different, which most likely means you might get slightly different approaches to certain missions, depending on whether you're Alexios or Cassandra, and some slightly different interactions with particular characters within this historical setting. We've all lost friends to this war. Much like in Mass Effect, who you choose doesn't affect the core game, but do be aware that if you choose Alexios, you'll be missing out on this sweet side braid. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. In Odyssey, you're not playing an assassin. And no, you're not playing as their long-standing rivals, the Templars, either. This game takes place long before Bayek founded the Hidden Ones in Assassin's Creed Origins, so what you actually are is a mercenary, a trained military fighter not unlike Commander Shepard. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Although your backstory isn't customizable like Shepard's, your character does have a traumatic origin story. One that took you away from your strong Spartan family and instead saw you becoming a soldier for hire. I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. Despite being a soldier, you can still assassinate your enemies. <clears throat> But since you're not an assassin, you don't have a hidden blade. Instead, you have the option of taking people out with a first civilization spear, owned by your ancestor, Spartan warrior king Leonidas himself. Ah, oh, I'm sure it's what he would have wanted you to do with it. We arrived just in time to help. You see? Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressive. Another similarity to the Mass Effect series is a wider range of conversation options. Traditionally, Assassin's Creed games have followed a single set linear story, but with Odyssey, the developers set out to make an RPG and they really want players to roleplay the character they choose. One way to do this is with the use of interactive stories, letting you take the character they've made and turn them into your own. Odyssey features a new dialogue system built from scratch, offering multiple choice answers so players can go with the option that they think will be best, or just the most fun for them. Once I heard the great Socrates was on Thilos, I raced over to hear his words of wisdom. Ah, but what are words? Can they be wise or are they simply words? Oh, no you don't. 
I'm not getting sucked into one of these debates again. It's not a black and white Paragon Renegade system like Mass Effect, but you can choose between the truth and lies, being nice or harsh, and it will affect how people treat you and what options are open to you later down the line. Speaking of which... You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. Or at least I thought I did, until you arrived. One thing even people who've never touched Mass Effect will know is that you have the option to smooch one or many of the more flirty members of your fellow Normandy crew. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the conversations also open up into romantic possibilities, with a little heart to indicate that things are about to get steamy. We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. But Lotharios beware. As with Mass Effect, your actions have consequences as to how you can interact with those people in future. We had Cassandra flirting with Rebel Kira, which opened up more flirting options later and even the possibility of a budding relationship. I'm all yours. However, it also affects how other people treat you too. See, Kira's already got her bae Thaletas, who might just react badly to you stealing the woman he loves should you tell him. So we decided to keep it a one-time thing and on the down low. Thaletas can't know about this. I agree. In time, he will. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. But uh, first... You know, in case he got mad at us. Especially since we totally flirted with him too. Bruised, bloody or broken. That can be arranged. My heart beats faster, Mistyos. But... But... But I sailed here for Kira. She's the one I fight for. For now. Good to have you back, Commander! <laughs> In most RPGs such as Bioware's other series Dragon Age, your main way of getting around is by horse. Whilst you do have a trusty steed in Odyssey, you're also going to need something grander to get from island to island across shark-infested waters. I mean, there are still smaller vessels you can use, but let's just say for the things you get up to in this game, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Just as Shep has the Normandy to explore the galaxy, Alexios and Cassandra have the Adrestia to explore the Mediterranean waters of ancient Greece. Yes, the nautical travel system found in Black Flag makes a return, with you only having to jump on board to cast off into the sea, with the great ship battle system helping you to deal with anyone who dares to step on your war vessel. Fire! One great way it's also similar to the Normandy is that you can enlist people to join your ship, such as mercenaries. This is pretty important as the ship is powered by rowers, plus you need good archers and strong-armed fighters to throw spears at enemy ships during sea battles. You got them, Commander! Watch for the arrows! Everyone in back! It's a bit different and more hands-on compared to flying the Normandy around, but we think it might foster the same sense of belonging that you get walking the halls of Shepard's iconic ship. After all, as a mercenary who has found themselves alone, your crew will be your family, plus a particularly lovely choir as you sail the Mediterranean Sea. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Any decent RPG, Mass Effect included, will let you customise how you fight your enemies. And Odyssey doesn't just do this with its differing options on weaponry and armour. Here we'll see the return of Assassin's Creed Origins Dark Souls style combat, and the return of an unlockable skill tree. But this time it comes with a bit of a twist in the form of some shiny new moves. Much like Shep could unlock special super cool biotic powers to help them get an advantage on the battlefield, your chosen hero can unlock special fighting skills in the warrior tree, assigning them to a shortcut button. Ah, 
Our particular favourites are this literal shield breaker. Oof. And of course, this Spartan kick. Okay, this one was particularly satisfying. Okay, okay, so just just one more. Ah, that's the stuff. In Mass Effect, Shep first joins the fight for humanity, only to find out they're part of a much larger fight for all life as they know it, and it's the same with your chosen hero in Odyssey. As a mercenary of the era, you'll travel around, helping clear up smaller problems, basically acting as the police that didn't really exist at the time. But you'll also find yourselves embroiled in a larger war, and we're not just talking the secret hidden one between the Assassins and the Templars, but the full-blown Peloponnesian War between the Athenians and the Spartans. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta too. Across the map, you'll see that various states of Greece are under either the rule of the Blue Athenians or the Red Spartans. The Delos, or Thelos, islands we explored are under Athenian control, as evidenced by the Owl of Athena being absolutely everywhere. Okay, they might be oppressing everyone here, but that owl is pretty damn cute. Aww. However, as Cassandra, we worked with the Spartans, taking out Athenian captains in forts and at camps, which allowed us to trigger a conquest battle. The dogs of war howl for blood, and thanks to you, Sparta now howls back. Sounds like a lot of howling. Here we fought alongside the Spartans, targeting the most important fighters on the battlefield to weaken the Athenians. It's here you find in true RPG fashion that by doing those smaller jobs and subquests, you've actually made it a lot easier on yourself in these larger fights, where, of course, you can try out all your best moves. Yes, Spartan kick. Yes. So there are just a few reasons why Mass Effect jumped into our heads as we played Assassin's Creed Odyssey. What do you think of the series stepping even further into the world of RPGs? Are you excited to set sail in ancient Greece? How many people are you going to try and romance? Let us know in the comments below, subscribe for more from us in future, and make sure to check out Outside Xbox for even more info. Bye!